NXL A-Level Maths Mechanics, October 2020, question 4. A ladder AB has mass M and length 6A. The end A of the ladder is on rough horizontal ground. The ladder rests against a fixed smooth horizontal rail at the point C. The point C is at a vertical height 4A above the ground. The vertical plane containing AB is perpendicular to the rail. The ladder is inclined to the horizontal at an angle alpha, where sine alpha equals 4 fifths, as shown in figure 1. The coefficient of friction between the ladder and the ground is mu. The ladder rests in limiting equilibrium, and the ladder is modelled as a uniform rod. Using the model, we need to show that the magnitude of the force exerted on the ladder by the rail at C is 9 mg over 25. First thing to do is to put our, all our forces on the diagram. We know that the ladder has mass m, so we've got a force m times g for gravity halfway along the ladder. It's got to be halfway because it's a uniform rod and it's going straight down. The ladder is resting on the ground at A, so we know that we've got a reaction force R going vertically upwards and the ground is rough so we've got our force due to friction of mu times r, which is pointing to the right. And we know it's pointing to the right because if you think of this ladder, it will be trying to slip out. The bottom will be trying to slip to the left, so the friction has to go the opposite direction to the right. We've also got a force at C. This is another reaction force, we'll call it S. This one is acting perpendicular to the rod, as can be seen on the diagram. Now we also know that sine alpha equals 4 fifths. From this we know that cos alpha must equal 3 fifths. This either can be worked out using the sine squared plus cos squared identity or by doing a right angle triangle with sides of 3, 4, 5. Now we've got our diagram down, we can solve the question. To solve this we're going to take moments around A. We're going to do this because we don't know what R is our reaction force. Taking moments around A means that because R is at A, we don't need it, it doesn't matter what size it is, we're not going to use it. What we do need, however, is to know how far away the forces are from A. And we don't know this for S, the reaction force that we're trying to find right now. But we do know that it's at a height of 4A, and we can see this makes a right angle triangle because the height is perpendicular to the ground where alpha with sine alpha equals four fifths. So we can say that sine alpha must equal the opposite for A over the hypotenuse, which is AC, which we're trying to find. We know that sine alpha equals four fifths. So multiplying by AC, dividing by our sine alpha of four fifths gives us that AC equals four A divided by four fifths, which is five A. Now we've got our distances, we can set up our equation with our moments. So anti-clockwise, we've got S, it's perpendicular, so we don't need any sine or cos, and it is at a distance of 5A from A. So that's on the left-hand side. The right-hand side is our clockwise direction. So we've got a force of Mg. At the moment, this isn't perpendicular to the ladder. So we're going through the angle, so we want cos alpha, and it's at a distance of 3A because it's half the ladder away. So we know that 5AS equals 3A mg cos alpha. Both sides have got A, so we can cancel them out. And replacing our cos alpha with 3 fifths gives us that 5S equals 3mg times 3 fifths. Dividing by 5 and simplifying gives us S equals 9mg over 25 as required. For part B, hence or otherwise find the value of mu. So the first thing is we are going to resolve horizontally. Horizontally, we've got mu r going to the right, and the only force we've got going to the left is the horizontal component of s. We're going to do s sine alpha. If you're unsure of why it's sine alpha, think of a triangle, as we can see on the diagram there, with the force being the hypotenuse. A bit of simple geometry can tell us that the top angle is alpha, we want the horizontal part of this triangle, so it's the opposite side, hence we're going to use sine alpha. So we've got mu r equals s sine alpha. Replacing s with what we know it is, the 9mg over 25, 
Placing sine alpha with four fifths, we then get 36 mg over 125. We can now resolve vertically. So upwards, we've got R going straight upwards, and we've got the vertical component of S, so S cos alpha this time. The only force going down is mg, which is going directly down. So R plus S cos alpha equals mg. Replacing the S and the cos alpha, we get R plus 9 mg over 25 times 3 fifths equals mg. Rearranging to get R equals mg minus 27 mg over 125, which is the same as 98 mg over 125. Now at the top, we've worked out that mu R equals 36 mg over 125. So we can substitute our value for R into that. So we get that 98 mg over 125 times mu equals 36 mg over 125. Well, both sides have got mg on the numerator. Both sides have got 125 on the denominator. So they all cancel out. We get 98 mu equals 36. Hence mu equals 18 over 49. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.